Every year around Halloween, hundreds of thousands of people make their way to haunted houses for just a few minutes of fear. And the question is, why do we like to be scared? I've been wondering that myself for a <laughs> while. Five News reporter Tiffany Lee joins us now with more about the science behind the scare. And just a quick warning, you may want to have, a, have small children leave the room because there are some very creepy creatures. Darkness, flickering lights, creepy sounds, and screams. These are just a few things that make walking through a haunted house so spooky. Yet we still come just to be scared. Why? Picture this, you're walking through a haunted house and boom. You know, something jumps out, gets the heart rate pumping. You know, you kind of get all excited and nervous. Can you imagine this coming at you? Terrifying, right? Yet it's a feeling Aaron Holland and many others enjoy temporarily, fear. In a way, haunted houses are kind of like life. You never know what's going to be around the corner. And while we may not love the unknown in our everyday life, we seem to enjoy it in a creepy dark building once a year. It actually makes a lot of sense when you look at the neuroscience behind what's going on in the body uh, when you get scared. While speaking with Dr. Julia Conroy with the Joshua Center, we learned that when our bodies pick up on a threat, it has a twofold response. The first is immediate, and the second is asking yourself, is this a real threat? Basically what happens when I'm getting scared on purpose um, is that the second response is no longer necessary. So we're just left with all of those good endorphins and dopamine and things that make us feel great. So while it may seem crazy, a temporary scare isn't so bad and it can actually bring people closer. What we see is there's actually this synchronization in these emotionally heightened experiences. So our heart rates will actually synchronize when we're doing this together. So we walk away from that experience actually feeling more connected. And how could you not feel more connected with a scary guy like this running up to you and yelling in your face? Because I heard you was coming and you ain't gonna make it out alive today. Meet the Punisher an actor at the Asylum Haunted House in Cave Springs. He says that he began going to haunted houses at a young age. You get that feeling that you, you ain't getting nowhere else, really. A feeling he loved so much, he wanted others to experience it. So he got on the other side and started scaring people at the age of 16. A lot of times in that room, they'll run from me just because I'm coming at them, but then when they open their eyes and actually see me and then they scream, that's the scream I like. But it's not because of the high-pitched squeals. I kind of feel their excitement, actually, you know. It kind of excites me, and, you know, I just, you know, it's just, it's, it's kind of my stress reliever, too. Relieving not only his stress as he screams in your face, but yours as you escape from a less scary reality. So if I was feeling kind of stressed or worried about this, or even if I'm feeling kind of flat, um, it feels good to have this rush of dopamine come in or this rush, rush of adrenaline come in and give me a lot of energy um, because it just feels like I, I have this whole new sense of life. At the beginning of this segment, we asked the question, why do people like to be scared? The answer, it's science. Our bodies react and give us energy. We create deeper connections with the friends who were there for the scare and a terrifying moment can take away outside stresses and anxiety. So after learning this, we decided to experience a Halloween haunted house of our own. You might want to look into that trailer and give your final broadcast right there. It's time for you to sign off. You know how she I make get it out alive? Stress. <laughs> I do yard work to get rid of my stress. Ooh, he's got oh it down. Oh my gosh. That's a little He knows old. what he's doing. If you want to experience the scare yourself, you only have a little bit of time yeah. to do this because most haunted houses will close after tonight. Of course, we have a list of things to do this Halloween where you live. You can go to our website if you need some ideas for this evening at 5newsonline.com.